Hey guys, been meaning to post this video for a little while. It's in response to Adam Welsh's video that he posted last month, um, where basically he took the design for this, which is the Wi-Fi to serial, uh, Wi-Fi to serial to RS-485 adapter, basically allowing you to use your EP Ever or EP Solar um, box over Wi-Fi for the connectivity. And what that allows you to do either is just use the default software on Windows, which allows you to change parameters, check the state of charge, check basically how it's doing, or like I say more importantly, tweak those settings. Or you can also use it a different way, and this way I'm using it is with um, product Grafana, which is running a Raspberry Pi that does nice graphs and allows me to see basically how it's doing at any time. But for be able to do that, you do need that permanent connectivity, and it's not practical to have a cable running outside and down the garden and such like. And that's why I originally came up with this. And then Adam, kindly sent another package. He's been sending me a few, he's a good guy. And these were the boards that he featured, which I should close with there, but like I said, I'll link down his video below as well. So he sent me through a few of these. So because of the Wi-Fi 01 e-box not being able to be configurable now, that basically cuts that route off. So what I did was I went ahead and purchased a whole bunch of parts. And there you go. And Adam very kindly had sent through a few boards. So what my plan was is to solder up a bunch of these boards and put them on eBay, which I'll put the link below. And that just means that anyone who wants to connect to their box wirelessly can do so. Um, I will also provide a 3D printed box, either using Adam's design or um, yeah, another design, but this works pretty darn well. Adam's put some time into doing that. And then basically what it'll do is the same functionality as Adam showed in his video. And it just gets rid of the rat's nest. That is this, which is not that bad. I'm sure there's more complicated circuits out there. Um, but this has just got the potential for errors or issues going forward. And it's nice just to replace it with this. And then what you will end up with, as Adam showed in his video, is one of these soldered up. Get the box. And then that's just going to drop in there. The cable that we we'll have here on the terminals will be directly soldered. I did terminals just when I was prototyping just make sure I get the right connections and such like, but that's not necessary and a permanently solar connection would be a much better solution. I also like the way he's mounted the board here. He's figured out the space and which obviously standard 2.54 mil there. But here, yeah, it's the same 2.54 mil header pins. But what he's done is he's just taken the middle pins out of two of the connections here. So it's five pins long but just with three pins connected. And that just gives a much cleaner solution. Easier maintain. I think I would still stick with the socket design that he's done there, which makes it possible just to, once you flash this, you can put it in. But then if you need to reflash it, just in case of removing the ESP, plug it in your programmer and changing things there. So I thought I'd put this video up and if there's enough interest, um, I'll put my new um, on eBay, but to be honest, I'll probably put one there anyway. So yeah, I just thought I'd do that. At least me people can go forward, can connect to their boxes and there's a solution there for people. So, okay guys, cheers. Feel free to subscribe, share. Have a good day, bye.